Oh, all right. I was bothering you lately with my favorite 3D printable ideas. And you know what? I have new DIY projects coming in the summer. But first, I've got a new challenge. Building a PC for myself. I'm a long-time Mac user. My MacBook is great for productivity, 3D modeling, coding, and YouTube management. Hitting my marks for minimalism, portability, and efficiency. However, it falls short when it comes to gaming, advanced 3D software, connecting unusual hardware, and list continues with very niche programs. These limitations mean I need a Windows machine. While I'd prefer a laptop, the current Windows CPU market is so complex, like x64, ARM, and so on. I can't rely on ARM support on Windows, because I don't want to spend my time and money like I did for macOS on ARM. And other CPU designs compromise too much on battery life and heat. So, despite my preference, a PC build is a solution. Hey, I'm not expert in this field, but here is a pain point I've already discovered in this PC building journey. The case. Normally, you have to find a compatible case that can fit all your components before you can even think about the design. What if your absolute dream case can't house all your desired parts? Wow, I can't imagine that! You're stuck paying hundreds of bucks for a case you don't even love! I have these components already in my workshop. I should only use them to build a PC with a design I like. Probably, I can't find the existing case that perfectly fits every single one of my existing parts. So, I'm going to design and 3D print my own PC case. It means we get the exact design we want and we'll save a good amount of money in the process. It's a win-win-win. I've started with components placement at first, because we have to make it very dense for minimal spacing. Believe me, it took way more time than my estimation. It was Sunday, with no others at the workshop making it hard for me to hold all components, at least for my design draft, until… I think we all got it. Now I can use this portable scanner to take precise dimensions of all my components so that we can get better imagination about the design. While you are watching the process, let me tell you a bit about the incredible Creality Auto Light Scanner. Honestly, after wrestling with these components all morning, I can already see how much easier the things are going to be with it. What's really impressive about the Auto Light is its versatility. This little device can scan objects big and small. I mean, we are talking components from as tiny as 20 mm all the way up to something as large as, mm, well, in theory, even a full-sized car. In past, we used to use at least three types of scanners for this size interval. It uses a really clever four-lens stereo vision system. What that means for us is incredible accuracy, up to 0.05 mm. That level of detail is crucial for ensuring a perfect fit when I design and 3D print the case. No more guesstimating with calipers, rulers and reprinting parts again and again. And Check this out, the scanning speed is fantastic, they say it can reach up to 30 frames per second. Plus, I don't have to worry about tricky surfaces. The Autolite can even scan black and metal objects directly without any special sprays. Imagine spraying that onto this motherboard. A oh, nightmare.
It is also incredibly portable and even has a built-in battery. This wireless freedom makes it so much easier to move around and capture every angle I need for up to 3 hours on battery. Plus, thanks to its stick with Pogo pin connectors, so it can transmit the scan data over Wi-Fi 6 to your computer without any cables. Another cool feature is the million pixel RGB camera. This means the scans aren't just accurate in terms of shape and size, but they also capture the color information for your projects. Honestly, having the Creality auto light for this project is going to make the entire process of designing a custom fit PC case so much more precise and efficient. We now have the perfect foundation for our custom PC case design. This precise data allows us to ensure a perfect fit with minimal spacing, exactly what we need. After countless arrangement combinations, I came up with this structure. And with this form factor, I can see we can get some design ideas from famous fractal mood case, which I think really affects your mood while you are working. It's an unusual case with fabric robot outside. Yeah, you might think bad for thermal performance, but believe me, there are some clever design tricks which are used to perform better than you might think. I'll tell about them later in this video. Ok, now time to merge all design drafts and dimensions in our CAD. Oh, it wasn't that fast because of many unexpected design problems with the components, but it's ready to print now. Due to its size, we had to cut the parts to many pieces, but big volume of Creality K2 Plus helped us a lot to print some big parts without splitting, so it should make assembly a little bit easier. But around 6 kg of filament printed, I hope, assembly will not take that much time. Now, let's place the components. I need to cover outside of the case lid, but I believe instead of 3D printing the side panels, 
Laser cutting acrylic sheet is better, because my pocket lacks this idea. I have used Creality Falcon 2 Pro for this task. Well, finally, we finished the PC build. Mm, I know you may wonder about the thermal performance of this PC, but believe me, it does great for my use cases and in stress test I got pretty usual results, because Fractal did great design by wrapping the case with fabric, but heat can go outside through the big fan on its top. Yeah, we still have some problems with the design, like no external I.O. ports because I didn't have external ports model with me when we are printing it. Now I got one, so I think I can edit later. Anyway, this isn't just a PC I built, it's a one-of-a-kind solution tailored specifically to my unique problems and preferences, built with unparalleled precision thanks to modern 3D scanning and printing technologies. As a maker, it's truly about making weird solutions to my own very unique problems. That's one of the reasons why this channel exists with the love of maker community. I learned a lot in this project, especially wrapping the 3D printed projects with fabric was like a finding a gold mine for me. This method transforms your 3D print looks to another level. I believe that I will apply this fabric thing to my future projects many times. Please, if you have any suggestions to this project, just comment below, because I may make a follow-up video with your upgrade ideas. I'm going to publish the design files and full on-shape project in my Patreon page. See you on the next builds, inshallah.